Yo, what's going on guys? Bachi Kibbles here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, today, we're in the garage. Um, this is the back room, kind of like storage room. Um, so, the motor is back here. Um, if you guys don't know, um, well, you should know, it's starting to become winter. So, uh... Figure that's the time to really work on this motor. And, uh, we have this set up here. Um, we have the radio, the workbench, and, uh, I do have an engine stand, but, uh, I don't have bolts long enough to go through here to put a nut on. <clears throat> so, I figured... Eh, I guess I'll just stay on the floor. So, motor's drained already. Um, there's still coolant in it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I'm gonna start making videos on this. Now, uh, I kinda forgot about making a video and started doing this already. But, uh, can't take the timing case off, uh, because, timing cover, sorry, uh, because we need to take off the pulley, and, uh, the pulley puller, actually, I don't know if it's a pulley puller, but it's a puller, um, we can't really get it on there, right, um, so I'm going to have to get a Chrysler pulley or find someone that has it and see if I could use it. Um, but as you guys see there, there's really no cracks or anything in it. Um, yep, it's tight. So that part didn't fail on this motor. Um... I kind of want to get into this already, so. Hmm. Alright. You know what? Let's do it. Um. Probably. We'll walk over here. That's not... Alright, we'll take, uh... The... Alright, guys. So, with a 10 millimeter. You can get these out. Kind of hard with one hand, but, you know don't have a tripod yet. I wasn't planning on diving into this today, but you know, it's whatever. to the other side. <sighs> All right, guys, you get the concept. I'll be back. Alright guys, so when you have all your bolts, um, mine's ready to come off. But if it's stuck, just take a flathead and uh, just tap it with a hammer very, very lightly. You don't want to just slam on it. Uh, just very lightly. Um, I did it in the back corner and the front corner. And now it's good. 
uh, when you two hands take this off, I'll be back. And, uh, there you guys go. Um, I didn't want to set mine down and get dirt on the gasket. Um, but there you guys go. That's out. Now we can really see in the motor. Uh, need better lighting. Alright, so. This light really isn't helping out at all. But, there it is. You can see right there cam a bit there I'm trying to show you guys right there if you guys know what it looks like you'll know um, but looking at it not too much sledge or anything. Sledge is a uh, buildup of oil and gunk, basically. Um, I don't really see any of that. It's actually pretty nice and clean. But when we get the rest off, will be even nicer. Um, I'm going to have to look into a lot more diagrams and stuff on the motor. Because um, I don't really want to break anything. And like I said, I didn't want this being like a two minute video of me just saying, Hey guys, we're starting the video. But uh. I'm going to leave it here, um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and as always, subscribe for more, and uh, if you stay this long, um, here we go, um, there's going to be a giveaway at 100 subscribers, now we're at 95, we only need 5 more, but uh, there's going to be a giveaway. And, uh, yeah. So, people that watch this at first, uh, they're not going to know if they watch the first couple minutes. Um, but if you stayed to the end, you know what's up. Uh, I'm going to put my Instagram in the link below. And, uh, when I do the giveaway, it's gonna be there because it's gonna be so so much easier um on there and i'll be able to dm the winner you know and give them what they want um so yeah that's coming up also um you guys might be asking what happened to my hand um a little spoiler as well um so I'm kind of thinking of building a race tractor out of this tractor um, that just sits outside my garage. You guys, if you guys have been here long enough, you've definitely seen it at least a couple times out there. And I uh, haven't made any videos on it yet, but I plan on it. Um, yeah, actually, uh, another little bleep um, blooper. I guess you could call it, um, this is a carburetor on it, uh, don't have anything small enough to get that nut off for the bolt to come off, because I think we really need to clean the crap out of it, um, and then it will run, definitely, uh, me and Tanner Curve were out there working on it already, uh, and yeah, so, uh, there you guys have it. If you guys stayed this long, awesome. Make sure you give a like and uh, subscribe for more. All right. Peace out.